Don't worry about the next. Cause it's your boy, Chris with the next. Alright, so it's been a long time. Shouldn't have left you. I'm just being silly, y'all. So I just want to talk about the whole Christina Grammy situation. Um, just this week ago, uh, she was from The Voice. She was an up and coming singer, and she was killed by a deranged fan, if you can call that person a fan. And no, I wasn't like a big fan of her. I didn't really know. Like I have seen her around, but when the voice comes on, I'm usually on um, like I'm usually like busy, or you know, like I said, I've been working a lot, or I um, at school or something. So I was I watched more of American Idol. But you know, even though like I was like a super fan or anything, you know, I think this crime is very heinous and it's de very devastating. And as you all know, it, it's hard to get into the um, entertainment industry. Period. I ought to know. I'm trying to get in myself. You know, it's very hard. And you know, she had, she was on Adam Levine's record label. Even Lil Wayne wanted to sign her. And yeah, Lil Wayne wanted to sign her. You know, her, her influence was Stacy Orecto. Now, if you know Stacy Oracle, she was in 2004, 2005. She came out with an album, her self-titled album. One of her first songs was called "Stuck on You." The second one was called "There's Got to Be More to Life." I was in middle school when that cat came out. MTV back when MTV started. Well, music was dying out, but then, but they still played videos and music. And yeah. You know, it's very hard to get into entertainment industry, period, you know. And she was accomplishing her dreams. She was actually, like, doing, you know, what she loved to do. And this man decides to stalk her for, like, three years and decides he wants to kill her. And this was after, um, and she, while she was signing autographs. And the visual of just of thinking about that is, like, that's crazy, you know. That's like uh, that's heinous, you know. She just and she was 22 years old, born in 1990, 90, 1994. You know, like that's crazy. It reminded me a lot of Be Rebecca Schaefer um, from the TV show in the 80s, My Sister Sam, which was a show about this uh, design photographer letting her teenage sister live with her. It was on for like two seasons, and yeah, that. It's Rebecca Schaefer's her career was growing too. And this fan, if you could call that person a fan, that person hired a private detective. Because back then this was no internet, so this person hired a private detective to get her address. That private detective got her address from the her driver from DMV. So this person traveled all the way to where she lived in West Hollywood and at first she signed the autograph for him. And then she, after they had a conversation, she told him not to show up at my house again. And then he turned, uh, and then he left, had breakfast, came back. She opened the door, and then he just shot her, like, uh, th about three times, and she died. You know, and he's still in jail. I think he's still, yeah, he's still in jail, or he probably died. I, I don't remember. But, um, yeah. And then it reminds me a lot of Saleta, uh, Quintanilla, the queen of Tijano, uh, Tijano music. But the only thing different with Selena and Christina is that Christina didn't know this guy. He p apparently did not know her. Uh, Yolanda Salivar, who killed Selena, she knew Saleta's. Um, she pretended to be a friend, basically. And that's why I always gotta say you gotta watch you gotta watch these people nowadays, cause friends of uh, fake people don't uh, show themselves up no more. They start calling you babe, bro, or friend. You know, they they don't express they hate as much as they want to, because then know uh, everybody knows they're fake. I said, I just wanted to talk about that, cause that's just you know, it's crazy. 
it's heinous, it's unbelievable that people are actually still, you know, shooting people. You know, shooting celebrities. Like, what do you accomplish from that? You know, this person is dead. You know, 2016 has no chill. You know, we just lost Muhammad Ali, Kimbo Slice. Uh, the list goes on and on, you know. You just got to stay positive. Keep your head up. Stay positive, you know. Negative. Being negative, being evil, being... Uh, being evil, evil never wins. You might think it does, but at the end of the day, karma is a... You know, karma always going to catch up to you. And it's going to happen to you when you least expect it. You know, you might have did something shady when you was 14, and then you might turn 30, and one day you walking down the street like you in, uh, in the movie Saturday Night Live, and, you know, you find $20 on the ground, you all happy. Next minute, you know, you might get hit by a car. That's just how karma works. Evil does not win. Evil will never win. And when you shoot people or when you kill people, um, you just set the soul free where it's supposed to be. So, yeah, so, yeah. So anyways, any comments, questions, concerns, you know where to leave them. Um, till then, this has been your boy Chris with the Dex. Peace.